this doggie causes me so many problems that could be avoided. What has she done? She's just torn up the tissue on my freshly hoomed carpet that she retrieved from my bin. Didn't you? <laughs> Don't try and escape. I ca genuinely carry Evie around the house like this if she behaves. <laughs> Let me just show them. I carry her around like a baby. I carry her around like this. Aww. Anyway, I thought, why not um, film my week this week instead of just a day because not a lot happens just in a day for me. Evie's just ransacking my nice and clean room, although that does not look clean. And yeah, I'm just here. I'm actually like, does anyone else do things to distract themselves when they're nervous? Like, it sounds a bit weird, but um, I'm about to speak to my boyfriend which is, it is why I'm nervous that sounds really weird but um it sounds like a massive announcement I'm not pregnant or anything basically like we're we've been talking for ages about like um like buying somewhere together like a flat or a house but it's most likely would be a flat because I live on the outskirts of London and that's pretty much what I can afford it's just been a bit of a dilemma and we haven't really moved forward with it because um, he's in the army and he's away a lot and like he hasn't been able to come here very much and it's quite hard to buy somewhere to like live together if you know the person you're buying it with can't be there very much to go and like do viewings and stuff and so I kind of just put it on the back burner but like I was thinking about it at the weekend I was like no I'd really like to like move forward on it now but obviously that hasn't changed that fact so I'm really bad at like discussing my feelings and trying to get better at it. I was like, shall we FaceTime? Just like randomly, just like as if we're going to have a normal chat, but I am going to bring it up. But I don't know, I just feel really a bit nervous about it. And I, to be fair, I haven't explained that very well, but there's a whole load of context. But like, it's just that, I don't know, there's no real like easy solution to it. It's just like... I'm gonna have to accept the fact that if we buy somewhere where I live, he's not gonna be here very much. So I'm gonna be by myself there a lot, which isn't the most appealing, but that's just how it's gonna be. There's not really like a solution to it, but I don't know. It's just, you know, anyway. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. Oh God. Evie, why aren't are you making a mess in people's rooms? <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, it's just something that's been getting me down, if I'm honest. Like, ooh, I don't usually get too sad about things, but I don't know, like, when it's not, you can't fix it, you know? It's not like you can just do something and it will change. Like, it's either you have to accept the situation or get rid of the situation, which is obviously not not what I want to do but neither of them is an easy choice I hope this makes sense but anyway yeah it's just that's the one thing that's been oh, now what are you doing excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me oi Evie yeah, so that's just the one thing that's like been in the back of my mind. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna change my bed now and uh, prepare. <laughs> you made yourself comfy there. That's excellent. You just chew on my sports bra. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, it's Tuesday and we are on a walk. As per usual, um, we're on our lunchtime walk and I forgot my camera so I'm filming on my phone, so apologies. It's just one of these little dog friends, or big dog friends, big boxer, called Bruno. Update on the phone call, on FaceTime, yeah it was all fine. We kind of just said like we're going to have to accept the fact that, you know, we aren't going to see each other much for, you know, these few, well we don't know how long it is. Moving in together is just going to be 
weird for a, for a few years. You know, while he's in the army doing his thing. But, like, to be honest, I think I've come to a point of acceptance with that now. I also keep thinking, like, I'm 24, I'm young, and it might be quite nice to, like, move in with someone but not have them there all the time. Because, you know, then we're less likely to get annoyed with each other and I can almost, like, live my... Sounds like I'm trying to say that I can live like I'm single. Not that, but I can almost, I can almost live my young years, even though I'm they're slipping away. Just like chilling, doing my own thing while he's not there. Sorry, I think a squirrel just like dropped something. Ruse again. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm trying to look at the positives from it, essentially. Um, but yeah, we just have agreed to just start moving forward with it. So now I need to like, or we need to put things into action. So, oh, Evie, please don't go through the mud. Evie, come out the mud, quick, this way. Evie, look, what's this? The tree always works. Here you go, good girl. My friend's coming around later and she actually bought a flat a few months ago. So I'm gonna ask her to talk me through the process because it's a bloody minefield, especially when you haven't done it for the first time. But I know I'm very, like it's a lot easier when you're a first time buyer, because obviously I'm not selling anywhere, so I'm like the start of the chain. So I know it tends to be easier and you tend to be favored. So that bit's good. I'm just gonna like basically grill her and what she did step by step in the process and potentially set up a mortgage advisor appointment. But yeah, I feel much better. It's not like, it's still not ideal. It's still not exactly how I would want things, but you've either got to like move with it or I'm gonna end up like stuck. Uh, should we go this way, Evie? Should we go this way? Good girl. Um, or you're gonna end up stuck like where I am and that, that's not where I wanna be either. So I'm gonna make the best of the situation. Yeah, now I've just got to push forward, but I'm not the best of change. I think that's why I've been putting off as well. Like I don't do very well. If you watch my Poppy Blues video, you'll know I don't do well with change, even when it's a good change. So, but then I just keep telling myself, look, you didn't really like having a dog at first and now I love it. So I'm just gonna have to like have that in my mind the whole time I'm going through this. It's, it's a big thing, isn't it? So I think I'm entitled to feel a bit funny about it but I want to be excited about it. Like I don't want to make it a negative thing. So we're going ahead and we're going to be positive. So yes, I'm going to continue our walk now. Know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Where are you going? <laughs> she knows. Evie, it's bath time. You're like a shadow of your former self. All right, hang on. Do you enjoy that? No, absolutely not. Oh, I like your makeup. Ah, okay. Excuse me. Here's the aftermath. Oh, thanks. Nice hair, dude. Oi. Okay, 
Jeez, not that bad. Are you done now? Look at you. So fresh, so clean. Where are you gone? Need to do your tear stains though. Excuse me. Let's just have a final twirl and then I'll release you. Eves. <laughs> clean. Oh great. Now she's got the door wedge. <laughs> Hi. He's a good little puppy. He's nice. Oh. Sorry, Eve, I've dis disturbed you from your little slumber. It's Friday now, and I last filmed on Wednesday. It's just because, I mean, I guess I had an eventful day yesterday. I didn't have an eventful day. I had like an eventful hour. <laughs> Can we just leave it for now? On your bed, please. Good girl. You sit on your bed. <laughs> on your bed. On your bed. Good girl. You should play with it quietly. Should be having a little sleep, woman. Good girl. Good girl. Have a nice little chill out. That's what we all need. Um, yeah, so... Basically yesterday, I was going to film like when I finished work, so I went and got my second vaccine and I was like, yeah, I'm double vax now, like life is grand. And then I came back from getting my vaccine and then I took Evie on a walk and we had a nice little walk like around the woods on the common where we go. And um, when we first got to the common, I saw these dogs. I've seen a couple of times. Basically, they're like three little... Um, Shih Tzus, I think one of them is a Shih Tzu cross, and two of them are rescues, the two older ones, and then there's a puppy, or like a, I don't think she's a puppy anymore, but she's the daughter of the girl Shih Tzu, there's a boy and a girl, and then a daughter, and the boy and the girl are rescues, the horrible situations they come out of, like I've spoken to the owner a couple of times, they've really like come out of cruel situations, so I really like that, and they're lovely dogs. They're just not well socialised. Obviously, a product of their circumstances. I'm not at all like for what happened. I'm not blaming the owner or the dogs because it's not like the owner's rescued them. She's trying her best, and and the dogs. Obviously, it's not their fault what's happened to them. We saw them, and we've met them before, and they're usually on a lead because they're just not that great with other dogs. They bark a lot at other dogs, and they growl. And they're just not the friendliest, always. But then they also like they've never. Well, I've never seen them like attack a dog. Like they've sniffed Evie and had a go at her before, but never like done anything where I was like, "Whoa!" You know, they might have just like told her off a bit. I was like, "Oh, let's avoid them," because I know Evie's not a massive fan of them anyway. Because she, she sort of backs away when we see them. So we did a big loop through the woods and came back out on the common about half an hour later, and they were still there. And I was like, "Oh, because we have to like walk across the common to get off." We walked past them. And they were quite a way away from us. And Evie wasn't on the lead and I was fine with that because there were some other dogs with them. And they were being fine with them. And I noticed they were off the leads and I've never seen them off the lead before. So I was like, oh wow, like, I know the owner's been working on trying to get them to that point. So she's obviously made some progress. But we didn't like intend to go over there. Evie stopped and really stared at them. And I was like, do you want to go over? Like, you can go over if you want. She didn't want to. So we just carried on walking. And then one of them ran over to us. And again, I was, wasn't worried or anything because they've never done anything to her. They just bark a lot. But it, I think it was, this was the little, like, the young one, the daughter of one of them. Um, and she came over and sniffed Evie and Evie sniffed her back. And, and it was all normal, what no, dogs normally do. And then they didn't do anything. That one just wandered off. And then I think the mum of that one came over and did the same, sniffed Evie, and it was all fine. And then all three of them came over at the same time. And... One of them, I heard, uh, this happened so fast, but I heard one of them growl and then it set the other one off and that two of them, and I think it was the mum and daughter, just went for Evie, like, went to attack her and obviously she just bolted away. I think they did manage to pin her down at one point and then she just bolted and I mean, she went off the common, down the hill, over the road round the corner and down another road. Basically, I think she was running home, because that's like the way home. <sighs> oh my God, like, you know when something just, it just happened, I just sprinted for my life after them. So the two dogs had chased her all this way. 
sprinted down this hill people like they were running past people were stopping and trying to grab them some people started like running after them it's like a film and thank god none of the dogs were hurt um, and they all made it across the road without getting hit but it was kind of like it's not a main road that you cross near the common but it's quite a busy road like there's cars going up and down it a lot and thank god none of them were hit i ran across this road and got to the top of another road that they ran down <laughs> resting her head there and the dogs that were chasing her had stopped at the top of this road but it was they were stopped on the corner and you couldn't I could, where I was I couldn't see down this road yet I just knew Evie wasn't with them and I was like oh my god because at the end of the road she'd gone down is a main road that's constantly busy and cars are not going slowly along it so all I was thinking is oh my god she's gone to that road oh my god she's gonna be hit there was a man at the top of this road and he was like oh these two have stopped but there's a dog that's gone down there and I was like that's my one so <laughs> she's just waiting for this ball so I I was like oh, you know that's my one thank you and I just ran down no 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 not yet I just ran down this road and thank god she'd stopped like near the bottom but she was I could see she was she wasn't sat down she was stood up her tail was down her ears were pinned down like she was terrified and I didn't want to keep running after her because then I was like she's gonna turn around and run to this main road so I just stopped and I I just stuck I was calling her and she wasn't coming and then I got treats out and I was like shaking the box of treats I had that wasn't doing anything I got one out and I was showing her it and she was quite a way away she would not come and I just was like I don't know what to do because I don't want to go any further towards her because she'll carry on going but I think what I realise now is I think she was trying to suss out where the dogs were because they'd stopped at the top of the road and she could probably see them behind me and wasn't sure if they were going to come running down to her but I didn't know what was happening behind me but I think by this point the owner of those dogs had got them and she was just stood at the top of the road with them with some members of the public um, and I was just trying to coax Evie and she at one point did turn to go and run to the main road and I just thought, oh my god, this like I don't know what to do, you know when you don't yeah, I was like desperate now, so I don't know what to do. But she she stopped and turned back to look at me and I was like, please come on. Like I was like shaking these treats. I was like, look, come on. Like, I was trying to be all happy, not like I didn't obviously I wasn't angry at her, it's totally understandable why she ran, but like I didn't want to scare her off. So I was like, come on, let's go. And thank God, eventually she ran up to me and I just scooped her up and I was like, oh my God. I just cried. It just went zero to a hundred so quickly and it's just so weird because seconds before this, it wasn't, they didn't actually attack her. They, they would have if they could have got her. But it was like seconds before that, I was saying to the woman, oh look, they're doing really well. Like you're obviously making progress. She was like, yeah, this is the second night they've been off the lead and nothing's happened. Obviously she knows they have a tendency to do this stuff, but she was obviously too trusting of them. They shouldn't have been off the lead. And if anything, it's just taught me to just really make sure I know the dogs Evie is around before I just let her run free, because that could have gone so bad. Like, I keep replaying the moment that I saw her near the end of the road, about to go to the main road, and I was like, it's like gonna haunt me now because I mean, it's horrible to say, but if she'd have gone across that road, there's potential that she wouldn't be here right now. <sighs> so I just scooped her up and cried, and I haven't spoken to this owner of the other dogs because she was at the top of this road. I was like, I'm not going to walk back up to them. I'm not going to take her near the dogs. It's too traumatic. And we would already gone the way, like, home anyway. Like, we were going the way that Evie had run. So this woman that had tried to help had, like come up to me when I was carrying Evie back she was like are you okay do you need any help like I dropped all my stuff on the floor in like a panic to like get off her she was like do you want me to she was like do you want me to um to like help you put stuff away do you need me to take I was like no I'm fine thank you so much like it was just so lovely I mean if anything it restored my faith in humanity because so many people tried to help in this like short few roads that we'd run down and then I saw her go up to the woman with the dogs perpetrators I was like I'm not going up there like I'm just going so we just walked home I carried her home I just cried <laughs> it's really weird like I just had bouts of crying last night like I think I just remember what happened and like how close it was to going wrong and then I just cry and then 
you hear about stuff like that happening, you never think it's going to be you on your dog. I got panicked to me as well, I was like, oh my god, has that traumatised now? Is she going to be scared of other dogs? But we went on a walk today and I kept her on a long lead, just in case she got spooked easily or anything. And she was fine. <laughs> What's she doing? She's like, laying down here but stood up here. What are you doing? She was absolutely fine and she just wanted to sniff dogs calmly and play with them like like a good good girl so she's absolutely fine she's obviously well <laughs> she's obviously not um not been spooked by it I'm be way more wary now because i never want to go through that again it just could have been so much worse but now i'm like if i see these dogs like if they emerge and i'm like near us i'm putting evie on the lead but if i see them before we even like get onto the common or anything i'm just not going to go there because i just don't want anything like that to happen again even if she's on the lead I don't know if something could happen so I'm just gonna stay away from them but it's just a sad situation because I know this woman who owns these dogs is working really hard to try and get them out of this and they've obviously taken steps back yesterday and it also it just shows you like you would never expect like these dogs are little shih tzus I think the youngest one is a shih tzu cross with a bulldog they look like Evie they're Evie size and you'd never expect them to attack you just never know, it just shows you just never know. So let this be a word of warning. It's obviously just, I've been too trusting, I guess, as well, because we've never had a bad experience in my whole time with Evie, and we're lucky that dogs around here are, all, are really lovely, so that's just never happened before, but, oh, it shook me up. So I was like, I couldn't really film yesterday because that happened. I was a bit overwhelmed. But yeah, but in in like, it seems to like counter, like last, when I got my first dose of the vaccine, I was so tired, like after I got it, I think that the adrenaline and like the sprint I did after this vaccine to get her, like kept me like wired because I felt absolutely fine since just got a bad arm. But yeah, so that's why I didn't film anything yesterday. It was just, it was just a dramatic day, wasn't it? But she's absolutely fine now, as you can see. Yes, aren't you? the best oh, oh it just broke my heart because she's so gentle with other dogs like she would never ever go to do what those dogs did to her and she wasn't even trying to play with them when that happened she just was stood there they'd come up to her and sniffed her and then they just switched it's mad i wouldn't wish that on anyone i just yeah it's too close for my liking to ever risk that happening again so but anyway we're all good. We're all here. There's no injuries. There's no trauma. So, we're okay, aren't we? You can have your ball now. I'm done. <laughs>